Hello again, Struck Bob. February is almost here, and I hope your wallets are ready for the high profile releases of February 2023. There are a lot of new games, a lot of um, big guns, big titles, and the vast majority of the 13 games I have uh, prepared for this list, like eight of those games, have already been in my quarter one video special. But there are also some other games that are already out, uh, um, that released at the end of January, that um, I decided to include. Some of them are re-releases, such as Watch Dogs Legion, uh, re-releasing -re on Steam this time around um, after several, um, I, I think, two years um, on other platforms. So I hope you enjoy all 13 titles in this list. Buckle up and let's go. We are starting the list in a chronological order. So I will start with games that are already out. Um, and here we have Watch Dogs Legion by Ubisoft Toronto re-releasing. Um, it was out since 2020, uh, late 2020, I think, on, um, on other platforms such as the Ubisoft Store, um, Epic, etc. But now it's uh, making its way through Steam as well as Humble, uh, which also has Steam links. Um, the game has already been uh, playable on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Access uh, and One as well, and PlayStation 4. Um, so build a resistance as you fight to take back a near future London facing its downfall. Welcome to the resistance. Very short description of the game. But uh, something that you should keep in mind is currently there is a sale, 80% off. So instead of 60 bucks, you pay 12 for the regular um, edition, 14 for the deluxe. Uh, 20 for the gold and 24 for the ultimate. So if you're really interested in the game and you want to get it 80% off, currently on Steam there is a sale. Uh, that's why I decided to start with this game. So even if your wallet isn't quite ready, uh, maybe this game um, doesn't want that much out of it. So the promotion ends on the 30th of January and I'm making uh, this video on the 29th, recording this voiceover on the 28th. So you would still have time to get it uh, if you feel like it. But... Uh, there, there are uh, mixed reviews already. Um, people are saying that maybe this won't be really quite worth the money because there's cut off um, extra content and stuff. Um, I have, uh, I have not tried it, so I cannot confirm or deny that. You probably might want to dig deeper to figure out whether it's worth it, even with 80% off. The game looks fun. The game looks nice. Um, nice RPG co-op shooter. Um, but. Um, Again, I haven't played it, so that's all I can say about Watch Dogs Legion from Ubisoft Toronto. Let's continue with another game that is already out, and it has a small discount, um, Power Court. Power Court is a rock and roll glide deck building game. Assemble Earth's mightiest musicians, battle your way through legions of demons, discover new cards to enhance your instruments of destruction, and take back the city, one dive bar at a time. The game is exclusively um, for PC uh, so far, and I think only on Steam. Uh, and Power Court is currently 10% off. Uh, so instead of 19.50, you pay 17.55 euro. Um, and there is also a bundle with uh, Forgone, um, other game made by Big um, Blue Bubble, which are the developers and publishers of this game. So if you want to get Power Court and foregone um, 50% off for the whole bundle, so um, uh, I think it might be worth paying uh, instead of 17.55 to pay 18.05 euro. You, you're paying like what, um, uh, 50 euro cents more, but you're getting a second game. Um, so keep that in mind uh, with that bundle. Um, just yesterday I was streaming and someone mentioned foregone as a good game um, um, when I was um, streaming for Spoken. So um, I, I haven't played Power Court or Forgone, so I can't tell you whether that's the, the case. But I mean, Power Court, I applied for a key. I didn't get one so far, but I really would love to try the game if given the chance. Because it looks like the darkest dungeon um, type of um, team-based um, setting and uh, similar to, to recently um, and not so recently when I played uh, Circus Electric. I think it would be fun. Roguelike, deck builder, team-based, uh, where the four members are one behind the other and there's that positioning to to take into account and it has amazingly nice art so already out since the 26th of january 2023 next on the list we have spell force conquest of l uh, releasing on the 3rd of february 2023 developed by 
uh, owned by Gravity and published by THQ Nordic. On a journey to great magical might, explore and control the lands of EO, or EO, in this ever-changing turn-based strategy role-playing game. Field armies and heroes in tactical combat, finish hundreds of quests and gather spells and artifacts to become the most powerful mage of all. The game uh, looks pretty impressive and I've had it um, um, I've had it on my radars for a long, long time. And it's finally here and they finally have a release date uh, announced since like um, it has been less than a month. That's why it wasn't um, some of my other videos. But um, I think many of you out there who love strategies, who love turn based um, uh, strategy with role playing elements would have a blast playing uh, Conquest of L. I'll look around to see if there's ways to apply for keys for the game and if there are I would definitely not miss a chance to apply for one um, because um, I, I really um, think it would resonate well with me and my taste hopefully with yours uh, regarding platforms PC um, there's Steam, Epic and Humble so keep that in mind one of the biggest releases in February is um, Hogwarts Legacy by Avalanche Software, published by Warner Bros. Games, releasing on the 10th of February 2023. This was on my um, on my quarter one list, um, obviously. Uh, and Hogwarts Legacy is an immersive open world action RPG, and now you can take control of the action and be at the center of your own adventure in the wizarding world. Something that I should mention is that this game seems to have more focus on the non-combat aspects. So unlike Forspoken uh, from January, which mostly um, focuses um, and has the strong suits being the combat, this this one will have different types, um, different types of um, focus. It, the focus would be on the non-combat activities like farming, gathering. Here you still have combat and spells and uh, and um, abilities and stuff like that, but uh, you also have um, the the um, the room in Hogwarts that is your base, uh, where you do all sorts of activities like potion crafting and stuff. But it also has disgusting uh, time gating, so you have to um, let the potion craft and then wait for like half an hour or whatever for that activity to be done. But there's also hippogriffs you can fly on. There's uh, a massive vast world. There's brooms you can fly on. There's various monsters. So um, the game definitely will resonate with a lot of you out there um, and um, I think it's one of the biggest releases of February and there are many biggest releases of February. And next we have something that uh, recently announced uh, the actual release date um, and uh, Wanted Dead is the name of the game. It is a new hybrid slasher shooter from the makers of Ninja Gaiden and Dead or Alive. The game follows a week in life of the Zombie Unit, an elite Hong Kong police squad on a mission to uncover a major corporation conspiracy. And one thing that is what happens when Ninja Gaiden meets cyberpunk. Um, there's hack and slash melee combat, third person shooter, over 50 brutal finishing moves, cyberpunk mix of advanced weaponry and um, IO tech, 90s retro. Um, then there's gripping storyline, truly hardcore experience, and beat them up um, the old school 3D way. 3D beat them up the old school way, I guess. Um, and they're saying that it is a love letter to the sixth generation of consoles. Um, and yeah, the game looks impressive. There's quite a few videos and trailers that you can uh, see. There's one anime, fully anime, 2D anime video um, that centers on one side character that is. Um, doing various jobs and night jobs and day jobs and so on um and vivian our main character uh, is also an interesting character and i think many of us would like it i pretty much am very excited about this game releasing on the 14th february 2023 developed by soleo ltd and published by um 110 industries sa so if you're looking for some um arcade-ish Hack and Swash third person uh, shooter Swasher, and this is the game um, for you in that month. Now, there is a game called Returnal, which uh, was a PlayStation 5 exclusive from PlayStation Studios, specifically um, the, the Host Marquee and Climax Studios. 
um, from the PlayStation Studios, and Break the Cycle, Fight to Survive, as this award-winning third-person shooter brings Celine's story to PC. Take on uh, roguelike challenges, engage enemies in bullet hell field clashes, share your journey through Returnal with another player. Um, Gwendolyn Christie from um, Game of Thrones uh, is who they used to base the main character on and who voiced over that uh, main character in Returnal. And yeah, it's finally um, making a Returnal, one might say, um, um, as re-release on PC. Uh, so it was a PlayStation 5 exclusive, but now even um, PC gamers can enjoy it on Steam and Epic, um, maybe some other stores, but I could only find info for those two for now. So if you if you want um, the Returnal experience on PC, um, you shouldn't wait more. The 15th of February is when the game comes out on PC. Next up, another one of the biggest releases of the month. I mean, this whole video is mostly the biggest releases, but some of them are bigger than, than the others. And this one is Wild Hearts. Uh, master ancient tech to hunt down giant beasts. Um, it's a uh, monster hunter um, meets... Uh, <laughs> what should I say? It meets uh, some some base building um, um, or... or, or, uh, or or two gadgets engineering. Uh, it is a strange mix. Uh, it's hard to it's hard to to describe this game. But let's start with the official description. Unique twist on the hunting genre, where technology gives you a fighting chance against fearsome beasts infused with the ferocious power of nature itself. Take on these creatures alone, uh, or hunt with friends in seamless co-op. No one remembers why the Kemono began their rampage through a once prosperous Azuma, fueled by desperation. They wield the power of primal nature as its most destructive. Uh, and yes, what's unique is um, I really love how you can use um, technology to to create some something like turrets and other gadgets to assist you. And yeah, if you're fans of the Monster Hunter genre but you want to play it with a twist, um, you don't need to wait much more. On the 16th of February 2023, Wild Hearts will release, developed by Koi Tecmo Games. Um, and published by Electronic Arts. Regarding platforms uh, for PC, we have Steam, Epic, and the EA app, the renamed, re revived, um, uh, or, or remade uh, origin uh, called EA app now, and then there's Xbox XS as well as PlayStation 5. The next game on this list is Set Wars New Allies. This game was in a previous video for uh, upcoming high-profile games of mine, but the release date got pushed a little. And uh, here it is me talking about it again. So the new release date is the 17th of February 2023. Um, and um, in some places I've seen 16th of February, but let's assume it's the 17th of February 2023. Um, and uh, what is this? Well, first of all, um, this game has a 30, almost 30 years of legacy. It's the newest entry in the series and it combines in-depth build-up experience with real-time strategic battles. So you choose among three unique factions and explore this whole new world powered by state-of-the-art graphics. Um, and your settlement has never looked so lively, apparently. So fully, fully reimagined from the ground up with stunning graphics and detailed animations, choose among three factions, the Ewari, the Maru um, and the Yorn. Um, each has a unique look, playstyle, and background story. Experience a story-driven campaign set in the world of the Setwars, or go for the special hardcore mode and its additional challenges. You can play online with up to eight players in thrilling skirmish battles against other players or AI for long-lasting fun. There's various different maps, and they will be adding more maps uh, for people to play through as scenarios. Um, um, and yeah, there's... Um, Definitely that typical set for style, but reimagined, and I really love the visuals and the graphics. Uh, it looks cool, and it's capturing uh, the atmosphere of set wars. So if you're a set wars fan, or if you're um, um, a RTS fan, um, then you might want to keep that on your radar, and um, you'll finally be able to test it very, very soon. Developed by, they're saying Blue Byte, but uh, I also know it's uh, Ubisoft Dusseldorf, so I'm not sure whether that's just a renaming of the studio. Uh, but in any case, um, um, Setworth's new allies coming on the 16th or 17th of February, depending, I guess, on the region. 
Like a Dragon Ishin is the name of the next game and it is developed by Ryuga Gotoku Studio. Um, Ryuga Gotoku Studio, pardon me, uh, which is the studio behind the famous Yakuza series. So this is an interesting um, take on the genre. Don the quotes and weaponry of the elite to become the samurai of legend. Takamoto Ryoma, draw your blade and join the revolution in this heated historical adventure. Um, so, 1860s Kyo is plagued by widespread inequality and one samurai will change the course of history in his search for justice. Take up the sword of Sakamoto Ryoma and venture to Kyoto to find your father's cure, clear yourself of a framed murder and restore your honor. In doing so, you will bring an end to the samurai era and forever change the future of Japan. Draw your blade, wield your revolver and join the revolution in this heated historical adventure that only the creators of Yakuza Like a Dragon could produce. So, um, yeah, I think um, this is um, an interesting uh, third-person uh, hack and swashy beat em up kind of um, action RPG adventure. And I think many of you, you would enjoy it if, uh, if you're fans of the genre. Next up is a game surrounded by a lot of controversy um, because uh, the studio that made it, Muntfish, um, originally was a Russian studio, but then they moved their office to Cyprus. Uh, and they have people from various countries on their website. They're mentioning that they have uh, people from Poland, Ukraine, Austria, Georgia, Israel, Armenia, United Arab Emirates, Serbia, and Cyprus, 130 people from 10 countries. Um, and um, yeah, they, they're mentioning that the studio's headquarters is in Cyprus. Some time ago, um, like a week ago or so, there were people um, getting um, very angry on Twitter, saying not to buy the game, because if you do, you're supporting uh, the Russian war machine. So hopefully that's not the case anymore. If their studio headquarters is in Cyprus, that means they're paying taxes to Cyprus not to Russia, which means that um, that's um, no longer the case, so you shouldn't worry uh, if you are supporting the game anymore, um, if you care about those things, obviously, in the first place. The game looks beautiful, and it's probably going to be one of those, um, one of those uh, ray, ray tracing benchmark kind of games that gets used um, um, in, in the following years to come when benchmarking hardware. Um, a little bit about the game. In a mad and sublime utopian world, take part in expensive encounters. Adapt your fighting style to each opponent, use your environmental um, environment and upgrade your equipment to fulfill your mission. If you want to reach the truth, you have to pay in blood. And they have sexy robots in this game if you're into that kind of kinky stuff. Um, apparently, there are many people who are getting crazy about those and really like it. Um, and apparently those robots are very bendy and all of that. Um, the game looks beautiful, pleasantly disgusting, gory graphics, uh, fast-paced uh, FPS combat um, and challenging bosses. Uh, if that sounds like your kind of game, the 21st of February 2023 by Muntfish as developers and published by Focus Entertainment and 4 Divinity. The next title on the list is PlayStation Exclusive and it's also a PlayStation VR only um, game. So you need VR to PlayStation VR to, to play the game. Um, the name of the game is Horizon Call of the Mountain and it's a spin-off from the Horizon series. Experience the majestic world of Horizon like never before in this new adventure for PlayStation VR. The stunning visuals and innovative features of the new PSVR to Sense controllers fully immerse you into the world of Horizon for an experience like no other. Ascend the towering peaks of the Karha Sundom S. Rias, a disgraced former soldier, and unravel a new mystery surrounding the machines to redeem yourself and save your people. You will also meet Aoi, other familiar faces, and new characters along the way. Journey back um, out into the wilds like never before in Horizon of the mountain uh, regarding the release date february 22nd 2023 um developed by guerrilla games and fire sprite um and uh, playstation 5 exclusive as i mentioned with vr2 being a requirement to play this one moving down the list um we've got on the 23rd of february 2023 
Um, Company of Heroes 3, Relic Entertainment are the developers, Sega are the publishers. Bigger and better than ever, Company of Heroes 3 combines heart-pounding combat with deeper strategic choices in a stunning Mediterranean theater of war. In Company of Heroes 3, every battle tells a story. What's yours? So, typical, classical action RTS strategy war game. Um, if you are um, hungry for some of um, some of that, then um, it can definitely deliver. Legendary strategic franchise is back. Company of Heroes 3 is the ultimate package of action, tactics and strategy. Take charge in the heat of real-time battle, then command as a general, guiding the overall campaign um, where every decision matters. So, award-winning tactical gameplay, obviously, um, a stunning new theater, apparently, the Mediterranean, um, new layers of strategy, diverse factions and units, so it can delight even the most ardent World War II enthusiasts, thanks to the largest number of uh, launch factions in the series to date. And it has cinematic action. Feel the blistering impact of every mortar shell and naval bombardment with a Relic's state-of-the-art essence engine. In Company of Heroes 3, every location becomes a fully destructible sandbox, opening up limitless tactical gameplay options for you or your enemy to exploit. So, this considered, uh, the game doesn't have extremely high system requirements, which is uh, good to hear. Uh, very good to hear because um, I think there's um, there's a solid number of um, strategy war game RTS uh, war game um, fans out there that would love to play Company of Heroes 3, and uh, they don't need to wait that much more. The 23rd of February 2023, as I mentioned, is the release date. And next on the list we have Octopath Traveler 2. On the 24th of February 2023, developed by Square Enix Acquire Corp um, and published by um, Square Enix. I'm assuming Acquire Corp is the, the sub-studio of Square Enix making that game. Um, this game is a brand new entry in the Octopath Traveler series, the first installment of which was initially released in 2018 and sold over 3 million copies worldwide. Um, regarding the key features, you begin your adventure as one of eight new travelers, each with their own origins, motivations and unique skills. The series' HD 2D graphics um, are very famous and uh, it, is, um, it looks amazing. It's a fusion of retro pixel art and 3D CG uh, and they have reached even greater heights this time around. The story takes place in Solistia, where diverse cultures arrive from east to west and the industries of the new era flourish. You can still, uh, you can sail, pardon me, the seas and explore every corner of a world that changes from day to night. Each traveler has a unique set of path actions they can use um, to battle townspeople, obtain items, take others along in their travels and more. Where will you go? What will you do? Every path is yours to take. Familiar mechanics from the original game have been preserved, like the freedom to develop your traveler's jobs and skills, as well as the break and boost system that made battles so exhilarating. Um, new mechanics have also been added, so you um, you would feel like you're playing a new game thanks to them. Uh, I think uh, it's fun, I think it's good, and I think if someone loved the original Octopath Traveler, they will love um, this turn-based tactical party-based JRPG uh, with uh, 2D HD graphics. To get notified when I upload more content like this one or other builds and guides for water and not so water games, you can subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button to not miss out on notifications. As well as uh, keep in mind there's something called memberships on YouTube which lets you be a paying member for my channel to get access to perks such as emotes and badges made by me as well as the option to get one-on-one uh, -on -one tutoring for the very basics of Adobe Photoshop, Premiere and After Effects and memberships can be cancelled at any time if you no longer want to be a member. Uh, thanks for watching all the way until the end struck up, keep it cool until next time and goodbye.